Hi again, and welcome to another episode of Letters to Alex. My name is Alex. I'm your favorite HubSpot girly. We're going to review more about uh, workflows and the type of branches that we can create. As you have noticed, we are going on a topic right now, which is workflows. We are going to discover everything related about workflows and automation in HubSpot. In our previous video, we went over the type of delays that we can use for our actions. And today we're going to go over our branches. So I don't know if you have noticed this, but um, there are there have been some changes in the workflow tools. It has like a new layout and it has some um, beta testing that we can start working on today. So let me start showing you our next action. As I mentioned, we went over delays and now we have our branches. So we have if then branch and we have value equals branch. So I highly recommend that you always use HubSpot knowledge base and we have a brief explanation and definition here. So basically if then branch is going to manually allow you to set the branches that you want. So for example, um, we have contact owner, right? So contact owner is a property that if I use if then branch, what I'm going to do is manually select a specific users that I'm going to filter. So let's say if the user is Alex, then we're going to create a branch for that one. If the user is Matt Bullion, then we have a branch for that one. But if I use value equals branch, automatically it's going to take all of the users, all of the values that the contact owner property has and create branches for each one of those. So it's much, much faster, much, much easier when you're trying to create different branches for all of the outcomes possible for a specific property. But if then branch allows you to be more narrow, more specific when you only want to use a couple of those. Hopefully this makes more sense in our example over here. So it, let's go to if then branch. And let me move my pretty face over here. All right. So we have our contract properties. Let's continue with the owner property as the example. We have branch one and we have is any off. So here we can select any of the users that we currently have or is none of, is known, is unknown, all of those options. So let's go with the math Boolean example and let's click on save. So now we have a branch of um, what HubSpot is going to do is check if the owner is Matthew Bullion. If so, they're going to move over here. If not, so that means everyone else that is not Matt, they're going to go over here at this branch. All right. So now let's explore the value equals branch. So as you can see, we have some beta that is uh, available for us. So we can select a property to value to branch on, and we can go over and select contact owner, and we're gonna have here. And then let's click on create a separate branch for each value in this property. Let's click on next. And then we have a branch for everyone, every one of the users that could possibly be an owner here. Let's save it. Give it a minute because we have plenty of users here of Red Partners and then we have a branch for each one of those. So those are the difference when it comes to value equals branch. Another thing that I want to show you is the value equals branch. So value equals branch also allows you to if then branch that is within the first filter or value equals branch. And as you can see, so this action's final success or failure state, we can select those. So now, as you can see, we have a branch for each one of the users. So each one of the values that that property has, uh, which allows you to create a specific path and segmentation depending on, on the value. In this example is the contact owner, but this could be for any other property that is available. So hopefully this helps you answer um, some questions about the type of branches that Hopeful has. Please let me know if you have any questions. Let's keep exploring this new layout. I know it looks kind of weird. Hopeful usually does that, um, but it's always exciting to find out the new type of 
uh, betas and new features that each one of the tools have. So let me know if you want to explore more on the branches and continue to subscribe to Letters to Alex, follow me on LinkedIn, because we are going to continue this series exploring all of the automation available in HubSpot. Thank you so much. We'll see you. We'll see each other again. <laughs> Bye.